Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and I just wanted to jump on real quick and say Happy New Year to everyone. It's New Year's Eve and I'm in the craft room for a little bit just trying to finish up some last minute projects and I'm gonna try to do one card video today and hopefully it'll be uploaded today or tomorrow, a New Year's Eve card or New Year's card. But I wanted to talk to you guys about my goals for 2020 because, number one, I think that if you write them down, you're more apt to achieve them. Number two, you guys can help keep me accountable if you start to notice me slipping on any of these goals. You can feel free to reach out and say, where are these videos? Or you said you were going to do this. Where is it? So just want to walk you through my goals for 2020. Uh, I usually do personal goals, but I don't think I've ever really done craft slash business goals. So I thought that this year I would write some down. So the first one that I did was to create one to two videos per week and they have to be card making videos. So these are going to be in addition to any haul videos, life update videos, craft room tours, etc. anything like that. One to two videos per week making cards. So that's going to be a huge challenge in itself because there are times where I'm traveling for work. So I'm going to try to work a little bit of a he ahead. I'm at that point at work right now where I am actually working ahead. So, and it feels great. It feels great to not be rushing to do everything. So hopefully I can get to that place too in my crafting world where I'm a little bit ahead and making videos ahead of time and then just uploading them as I get the chance. So the second one is to enter at least one challenge a month. So there are hero arts challenges, MFT challenges, kindred stamps challenges. I know MFT, MFT does sketch challenges every week and I think every other week they do color challenges. So I'm going to participate in a couple of those. Um, Hero Arts, I think, does one for, I don't know if it's for the kits. I, I feel like I've seen them before, and I know Kindred Stamps does too. So I am definitely going to be mixing it up a little bit, and not because usually I did MFT challenges, but I think I'm going to try to do more. The third thing is to apply to at least three craft shows per year. So there are two that I do every year, and I love them. And I did really, really well at the last one that I did. The first one this year that I did, I didn't do so well at it. And I think it was probably because there was construction and there weren't as many signs this year. So I was a little disappointed. And I think it was the same weekend. The second one was a different weekend. It's always the Saturday before, Saturday before Thanksgiving. So this one was late this year. And um, I did really, really well there. So there's another piece of that that I'm going to get into. So I need to find a third one. So if anybody is in the South Jersey, Philadelphia area and has a great craft show that they uh, do or that they attend, leave the comments down below on which ones I should do. So I do Kingsway and Birches um, for anybody who's local. Uh, the next thing kind of goes with this, create two to three new items per month for craft shows. So my aprons sold like crazy this year. So I'm going to do more designs and not just holiday designs because I had a lot of holiday ones, but ones that people can use all year round. So that's another thing is I do a lot of holiday shirts. So I'm going to start doing more of the non-holiday stuff too, because people don't only just buy Christmas stuff at these shows. Um, new onesie designs, like I said, uh, toddler t-shirts is another area I wanna get into because I did a couple of those Christmas ones and they sold pretty well. And then there's a couple new ideas that I've picked up over the years but just haven't had a chance to actually execute them. So I have a couple of those. So two to three new items per month, which that's just a single item. So if I do three aprons in a month, I'm good. Uh, the next one, I'm thinking about doing but it may not be on the platform that I've written down here open my Etsy shop again so if you guys don't know I'll give you a little quick crash course on Etsy Etsy decided to change its policy a couple of months ago I think it was back in the summer and it says if you don't they strongly recommend that you offer free shipping which sometimes is hard to do because sometimes on things that are like a dollar it costs just as much to ship it, if not more. So you're eating all of your profit on this free shipping thing. So they strongly, that's Lucy, um, they strongly suggest it. 
And what they've started to do is that if you don't offer free shipping on everything in your shop, you don't come up in the first couple pages of the results. So basically they're bullying you. Don't like that. So I'm looking for another platform. I've checked into a couple of things. So we're going to see. Maybe I'll do my own website. I don't know. So just looking, maybe selling on Facebook, maybe doing some other things. So I'm just hoping to open up an online platform again. Um, create one video per month in a series. So I, while I was doing these goals, I actually started to do a top 10 list. So top 10 ways to use supplies, top 10, um, what are some of the other things? Uh, reasons to do something, reasons to purchase things, reason, ways to use, oh, I said ways to use things, but kind of just sneak peek of some of the things that I did. So I have right now nine videos. So that gives me almost one a month and I'm sure that along the way I can think of more and if there are more than 10 ways, I will give you bonus ways. So uh, that's one video series and maybe I'll do more than one a month and then I'll start a different video series, but I'm gonna try to get back into that. The Sketch Sundays were really fun. They were very time consuming, but again, I'm gonna try to work ahead. So Sketch Sundays may be a series that you'll see come back. Uh, the next one is create one to two Christmas card designs each month because at the end of the year, I'm terrible with trying to make everything all at once. And I like to make different cards for different people. So then what I found was I did a couple on World Card Making Day and I barely sent those ones out because I feel like, oh, I'll make them all at once and you know make them for each specific person and that just never works. So what I'm really gonna try to do is create cards all year long with my supplies. I have a Christmas bin, which I think you guys have seen that video before, and make multiples of cards. I'm gonna try to do singles and because I want each person to have an individual card, but we'll see how that works. Then the last goal that I have for myself is to pull out all unused stamp sets and create a project. That's going to be huge. So none of that's gonna be incorporated into all of my other things, making videos, the how to use things, stuff like that, because I have a lot of supplies that I've never used, which is really, really pathetic. So I'm going to try to cut down on my spending because I'm buying all of these new products and then not using them. And then what I'm finding out is that I don't buy things. And then like right now, Honeybee Stamps has a 35% off sale and I spent full price on all of this stuff like two months ago. And I still haven't used it ex with the exception of the Christmas stuff and the, ginger, the house, built uh, house builder add-ons. Those were awesome. And yes, I did pay full price for those. But I mean, if there's some a stamp set that I haven't used and like it's just sitting here, like Concord and Ninth, I have so much stuff that I have never used because I've pretty much bought their whole releases every time. So it's a way for me to save money, use all my supplies, and I know I've talked about doing that before. So my goal for today, tomorrow, um, is to go through my craft room, pull out supplies that I've never used, whether it, it has to be... The, if I've used one stamp on the set, then it's not gonna go in the bin because I have a ton of stuff. But if I've never ever used it, never even opened it, then those are the ones that I'm going to put into a bin and maybe we'll just do some of those um, projects like Simon Hurley does where he puts things in a box and he chooses like one or two uh, stamp sets, a stencil, ink pads, and things like that from a box and we can do a challenge like that. So we'll see. And maybe that can be one of my uh, challenges for the month. Um, so we will see. That, those are my goals for 2020. I hope that you guys have given yourself goals too. And whether you've written them down or not, you know, the new year is a great time to reevaluate things and see if things need to be changed in your life. And I think that for me, a lot of things need to change. And this is just one small start to the change. So... That's everything that I have for 2020. Oh, I wanted to show you guys real quick. I made this for my niece. My niece is obsessed with Blue's Glues and she took this notebook around and was writing it down. So my sister-in-law was asking me if I found any notebook, like I found a notebook at Target and I'll show you. 
I did the Blue's Clues notebook. So that's it. And then the inside is just blank like that. So these, all these pages, I have to do the back of it and I have three of them to do. So I do have some more work to do. That's what I will be working on. The back is just going to be all black. I'm not actually going to do, um, it's the chair or anything. I think there's a phone on the back of it on the Blue's Clues one, but this is the blue. This is as close to the Blue's Clues chair as I could get. This was from Design Space, and I did a little. Um, I actually took two chairs and kind of combined them to make this chair. So that's it. That was my. That's the last project that I have to work on for 2019, besides possibly making a New Year's card. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. Happy New Year, and I will see you guys in 2020. How crazy is that? Bye.